Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com. Here we have a Ameritron AL84. So I don't normally work on amplifiers like this with the sweep tubes. Um, these are the tube. The sweep tubes are really expensive. But a customer had me repair, actually go through a uh, Heath Kit SP200, and he had this, so I worked on it for him. So meter worked on this. I've seen ones where they're just fried, so put diodes across it, reverse connected. Someone had gone in here, well first off, the shaft was totally bent on this air variable. So I bent it back, took it out, bent it back, and then I made sure all the plates were centered. <laughs> Takes a lot of time. This one was available, this one was damaged. Uh, as you can see here, they were rubbing. So, um, I just dropped something in there. Um, let me grab that really quick. Got it. Okay, so these plates were rubbing. It was damaged. So I replaced this with one from Ameritron. They still use this in the uh, AL811 and AL811H. Someone went in here, changed the tappage on the rotary switch, and then the connection down there was disconnected at the end of the coil. Just a nightmare, just all messed up. Put some silicone on the meter lamp to hold it in place. Here are the diodes. The spring was off, the relay too, so replace that. Had the improper fuse in here. It was a 10 amp slow blow. I put an 8 amp fast blow since it's wired for 120. So, went through the rest of it. Everything looks good, good. Nice, nice. So, I'll explain that. So what I did was, I took my analyzer and I backfed it. Figured out the loaded plate voltage and the max plate current. Took the uh, max plate current, multiplied it by 1.7, and then I divided that into the loaded plate voltage. And then I took a rheostat. Like, uh, I don't know where I put it. I had it around here somewhere. Oh, I took this from my amp building days. It's carbon type. You can go from the anode to ground. And then I hooked my analyzer up to the output connector. Keyed the TR relay manually with everything else off, unplugged. And put it on the proper band. And then I tuned the output network, plate load. And, um, topped it properly so I got the good match um, you know, back feeding it with my analyzer so I went through each band and uh, it's all set so just make sure there's no voltage here the plate cap is coming off a little bit so the customer supplied these tubes it was missing tubes they're 6 LQ6's show the box here Not cheap. These are not cheap. Four matched tubes. I guess he has a whole bunch of them. So, so that's about it. Please like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate it. It's AmpRepairGuy.com 203-892-4119. No way to zero this out without taking the meter apart and little adjustments down there, but the meter does work. So, take care. 73.